Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGNNet of MLB 16 The Show, Road The Show with Diego Torres. This is episode 38 as we're getting ready here for a series against the Brewers. So uh, Diego, of course now part of the Cincinnati Reds, is now uh, part of this ball club. He is the ace for this ball club and he has some work to do here in this episode. He's going to be taking on Willie Peralta in this matchup here. You see they're 3-2. and two for the season and for the Brew Crew, they are one and four, and right now looking at, I believe, in dead last place here in the NL Central. So, uh, welcome to MLB 16, the show. I'm so happy that we can finally put this episode out here for you guys. As uh, got kind of been tweaking with some of the settings here, trying to get the same settings that we had last year and the feel and look to it and everything. But there you see uh, Torres and the pitching staff that's on his uh, on this team here, as he is the ace. And uh, you know, of course, he was traded from the Cubbies now to uh, Cincy, and really, under really, uh, he doesn't understand why he was traded. He, you know, he thought he did well there. And you see, as the Cubbies right there, they are two and three, two and a half games out of first place behind the. Uh, Pirates there. Pirates lead the uh, division right now, four and one. We are just a game behind the Pirates uh, with a three and two record there. Just a game between us and the Cubbies there, as we have second place right now. And uh, of course, there you see the new uh, little interface there. You can play the game or uh, go to the next uh, appearance. Uh, also, you can change the uh, the uh, uniforms this year. So. Uh, I'm gonna start using you uh, using that more often. I've actually went through some of their uniform sets, and they got some pretty cool cool uniforms there. I'm not a big fan, you know. I'm not all excited about uniforms and whatnot, but I think now since playing this game here, uh, I've been testing out and whatnot. I think I'm gonna become a more of a fan of start using mixing the match of the uniforms there. I know a lot of guys that play uh, the show here on YouTube uh, like uh, like not a fan there on on the uh, ES or on the. Uh, uh, Sports Gaming Universe. He's a big fan of the uniform sets there, and I kind of agree with him. They got some pretty, some pretty sharp uniforms here this year for a lot of these teams. So there you see Torres. There you see his number so far. He hasn't won a game yet. He has won no decision. And there you see his strikeouts and his innings that he's worked so far. He's looking for his first win here in this uh, campaign here this season, and we'll see what he can do here in today's game. Uh, so I think in the uh, Simon Unger series. I think I talked a lot a bit, a lot about the new interface to this, and I, which I still say is the best, probably one of the best interfaces now they've had, the graphic-wise, showing the stats there. But you see Torres right there, good job there, striking out the first batter he sees here. Nice job, 40 points there for himself uh, here in the game. But uh, overall, I think the game right now is looking so sleek, so nice, and I just I can't wait to play even more of this game. As uh, I have only been playing these, uh, well, the, I played two episodes so far for Torres and one for Simon. And I can't wait to get back into it uh, as uh, getting close to the end of the school year here. We'll start wrapping up things there at the, f the food court that I work in. And uh, start, uh, you know, I start having some more time off here. So we'll see Braun come up to bat here. He hits one right up the middle there on Torres. And that's going to be the first base hit here in the ball game here for the Milwaukee Brewers, as he puts a one in the hit column there. And of course, Torres now is going to be in the stretch here against the Brew Crew. So Brian Brown giving him a little trouble here. Chris Gomez coming to bat, 33 home runs last season, and you see uh, 67 RBIs here. We'll try to see if we can get him in a double play here. 0-2 pitch, nice strike out there as Torres gets out of the inning there and gets Gomez. Shipping back to or packing his bat and going back to the dugout there. No score after one. And there you see the Brewers do have one run or one hit on the board. Chris Davis coming up to bat here now. He's going to be the first batter here. Top of the second for Torres. As you see, Torres is going to try to see if he can get this one on the ground. Does. And this is going to be a good uh, drop third strike here as the catcher there will get the runner out there at first. Nice job there reacting to that one and getting the runner out so nice job here I think overall this I mean like I said the game looks graphically looks awesome and I can't wait to get into more of the uh, you know game here especially creating the new players uh, that I have in mind here I got a I believe I have a uh, closer 
that we're going to work uh, with. He's going to be an edited series, and then we're going to have maybe a live stream only uh, character, and I think he's going to be our, uh, I think our catcher, I think this year. So uh, we'll, we'll, I'll talk more about that here coming up here as we get closer and closer to that. Uh, I might have a video about that, and when I'm also we're going to have a live stream only uh, series for the franchise. We'll start a new franchise up here on the channel here on uh, ESGN Net as uh, we're still going to have the Kansas City Royals franchise that's going to be still our edited series and occasionally we may have that as a live stream also uh, but for the most part we're going to have a live stream only uh, franchise here this season and we'll see how that goes but there you see Torres tries to bunt this one trying to help himself out as he does and moves the runners over in scoring position there nice job there from the pitcher here knowing that he does not have a good bat here and he's just going to have to sacrifice himself there to uh, help out the team. Now, 3-0 here, top of the third. Two outs and nobody on board with 0-2 pitch here. We'll see what he can do against the batter. Nice job as this one pops up to second base as Brandon Phillips calls everyone off and gets the catch. So nice job there for Torres as so far he has not given up a run at all. He only, only gave up one hit as he has a three-run cushion here. Now we go to the top of the fourth. We'll see here is now it's five nothing here, and we'll see what he can do against uh, Schooner Burnett. As you'll see here, oh one pitch, and that one's going to go up the middle there. No one can get a hold of that one. That's going to be another base hit there. So now it's two base hits here off of Torres as he will get uh, minus one there for his uh, points there. So no points there for himself as we see Braun come up the bat one for one. A single back in the first. We'll see what he can do here with a runner on board here. And, of course, you know Torres is going to have to avoid everything and anything to make sure he does not give a pitch here to Brom because Brom can take a pitch and have that ball go over the fence as he does with this one. This one goes high and deep. This one is gone. Torres, yeah, he does not want to look at it. And Brom, the, the uh, what do they call him, the... Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, he's Jewish, so I, I forgot that. Something hammer. They uh, have him, he goes over the wall there, and that's going to be a two-run shot there. It's now a 5-2 ball game here. There you see 377 feet there for Braum. As the Brewers are back in this ball game here, just in the earshot of getting uh, of trying to tie this game back up. But you see here, Great America Ballpark fans are not liking this at all. As you see here. They get the ball, but they want to see Torres try to strike Braum out next time around. Gomez comes up the bat, and he hits one of the hot shot there to first base. That's going to get him out, and that's going to retire him there. As the, He is now a little frustrated here now twice now. He's been shut down. There you see a nice just pick there from Jay Bruce. I believe that's who he is at first, and gets the catch. Now with one out here at the top of fourth, and we'll see here. A nice play there, routine play there from the shortstop. Nice play as that's going to get 22 points for him, for Torres' effort there from defense. Helping him out there to stop the runner there from getting on first. Now Adam Lynn coming out of the bat here. Oh, and one here. And actually, it's kind of funny is, uh, seeing him in this series uh, as part of the, of the Brewers. And he's actually a part of the Royals franchise now. Uh, and our uh, Royals fran ed edited franchise here on the channel. And he's actually been pretty fun to play with uh, as a cleanup hitter here. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys more of that. I think, I'm think i sure you guys have seen a lot of the videos of uh, the spring training games and whatnot and what he's done. And he's actually pretty impressive. I like him. Um, it's, that was a, actually a good pickup there as a 4-5 uh, uh, um, you know, guy there in the uh, batting order. As you see there, Torres gets out of the inning there. Nice job there from... Uh, his defense there helping him out there. So score after five is five two, and the Brewers are trailing. Scooter uh, Gannett coming up the bat here in the top of the six. We'll see what he can do here. Hopefully they, he can get a quick one two three in this inning. And nice job there as he gets, get the strike out there. Nice play as Torres gets him out once again. And we'll see here in the replay, just a nice job there. Gets the runner out, or gets the uh, pit, or ca the uh, hitter out there 
and ends the uh, at bat there. As you see here, take a look here at Brom, and this is what we've seen last time he was at the bat. His second at bat here, he has one right over the left field wall, and that gets the uh, two run lead there, or two run uh, jack there, puts him uh, now trailing by three here. Top of the six, and we'll see Brom gets this one, and he does not get a hold of that one too well. That one grounds him out there at second. Nice job there from Phillips getting the ball and getting him thrown out at first. So nice job there from the defense here, helping out the uh, the uh, second-year player here. As you see, Gomez coming to the bat. 0 for 2 for him. Strikeout and lined out there in his last uh, two at-bats. We'll see a full count here for him, and he'll hit this one high and deep. This one will go to right field, but it'll get caught by the right fielder there. As actually now, now as I believe now, Jay Bruce is playing out right field. That's going to be the end of the inning there. And after six, they still lead it by three. Adam Lynn coming up the bat, top of the seventh here. We'll see what Torres can do here. So far, he's been pitching a pretty good game, only giving up those two runs. This one goes high and deep. This one goes back, and this one is gone. As soon as I said that, I, I think I jinxed him. Adam Lynn hits a home run, now makes it now 5-3 here in the ballgame. Torres just feeling the heat now and the pressure of not letting this game slip away. As you take a look here from Lynn, nice solo shot there of 401 foot from the home plate there. Nice swing there from Lynn. And he eats up left-handed batters here. As you take a look here, just puts a nice swing on that one. Not much power. And uh, he does have a lot of power there against lefties. He does eat up lefties, like I said. But that one, I think, was just a nice swing there. Found his pitch right in the zone where he wanted it. And takes that one out to the deepest part of center field. All right, so now 3-5 is the score here. Top of the seventh here, two outs. And you'll we'll see a ground out here. Nice job as they get the play and get the ball and get the out there. That is going to end the inning for Torres. And hopefully we'll wrap this game up here. As you see, they have a two-run cushion here. And we'll see here what they're going to do for Torres. See if he can come out in the eighth here. And no, no, he's going to stay. He's going to stay in the dugout here. He wins this one, his first win of the new campaign. 5-3 to three is your final score of Torres. Seven innings of work there in that ball game. As he gives up three hits and gives up uh, three runs in that ball game, also three earned runs there in the game. So he is player of the game. Now congratulations to him. And of course, he did not want to give up those three runs, but hey, the team were able to hold hold him and uh, hold up and held that lead there for him, and they got the victory there here today in his second start here. So. Torres gets that one. As you see, he gives up two home runs. Nice strikeouts in the ballgame there for him. And seven innings of work. So Torres and the Cincinnati Reds win this one. A final score, 5-3. to three. And you see eight hits for Cincinnati. Four hits for the Milwaukee Brewers. And uh, one error there for Cincinnati. And they get the victory. So that's most most important there. We get the victory now. You see some of Torres' numbers there. You can pause the video and check that out. There you see four hits, three runs, three earned runs, and nine strikeouts there. You see 694 points there for him. That's, of course, go to his training, and we'll uh, try to uh, get some areas of his game there to improve here. But we'll go ahead and sim here to see where his next start will be. And looks like it's going against Peralta again, and it will be against the Milwaukee Brewers. So it's going to be about a week later. As we'll take a look here and sim here and see how so far we were net one, two. So far, okay, the series is now okay. So, the series we win the series against Pittsburgh, two games out of uh, two out of three there. Milwaukee, we end up losing the first game there. So, Torres in the next episode will take on uh, Willie uh, Peralta in Milwaukee as Milwaukee will host us. So, you see six and four for us. Torres one and oh, 14 years of work there. 18 strikeouts and under two for ERA. So we'll see what we can do here against Peralta and the Milwaukee Brewers. As you see there, they're in dead last right now. Four games out of behind us as, uh, oh, hey, look, take a look. Reds and Pirates currently tied in first place there in the National League Central. So definitely come on back, you guys. So like I said, 
this year's game has been so much fun and uh, I love I just love this new interface and everything with it and the new graphics and whatnot so uh, you know uh, come on back for another episode here on MLB 16 the road to the show with Diego Torres as we take on the Milwaukee Brewers again this time in Milwaukee if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out other great series here on ESGN.net also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Links are down below in the description for the latest news and information about videos and also when live streams are coming up. And also just in uh, sporting news and sports and gaming news just in general. Uh, so thank you guys so much and keep yourself healthy. And I will see you guys next time.